After missing out on the playoffs last year, despite an undefeated season, Northwood finally got their taste of the postseason on Saturday. And I liked it so much they decided they'll come back for seconds. Feasting on Van Buren, 43 to 10. Give me two claps in the Ric Flair! Out of all my years, I haven't been past week one. So to be the week, should I call it three? Uh, it's feel good. Yeah! It feels good. When you prepare for a dog fight, things go your way. Obviously, they didn't prepare like us. We came out ready. We came out hungry, and then the scoreboard shows it. It's a big deal for us. Last year, we were hoping to get in and did not. So that's a big deal just from the standpoint of, you know, for last year's team, it felt like we kind of owed them that to get in and play well. Uh, and, our, and our seniors worked their butts off. I don't think a lot of people expected us to be very good this year because we graduated a great class last year. And, and our, our seniors took that to took that challenge all the way through the winter through the offseason program and have just done a great job for us this year. So I'm really happy for them. The offense was led by dynamic senior duo Jay Moten and Damon Marks. But it was the defense that was the key Saturday night, letting up just 10 points as the Rangers have allowed just 66 points the entire season. We're all in sync, we all play together, and that's what happens. So we all work as a team. The defense has been a huge, a pleasant surprise for us this year, and, and obviously it was a big part of this, that, you know, the fact they were able to shut them down a little bit early, give us some field position, give us multiple opportunities to get the ball moving, helped us get that lead, and then obviously we were able to keep momentum going from there. The Rangers have now won 17 straight games dating back to last season. Next up for them, they'll head to Fairview for a big matchup in the regional quarterfinals. From Northwood High School, Alex Wilcox, BCSN.